Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today I have 95% of a news story for you in that I know some news, I just don't fully understand why that news is happening. So anyways, let's get down to what is actually known, and that is that Unity is removing Enlighten. For those of you that don't know, Enlighten was, or is, it's a light mapping solution for doing things like global illumination and such for pre-calculating lighting in your scene. So when you do your light map baking inside of Unity, you are using Enlighten, at least you are for today. But it is going away. So we'll see here from the Unity blog, Enlighten will be replaced with a robust solution for baked and real-time global illumination. Uh, Unity is required to remove Enlighten, but will continue to support as is through 2020. We have a robust uh, replacement for Enlighten baking uh, with CPU and GPU progressive light mapper. Our real-time GI replacement will be delivered on 2021.1. So this is quite a ways down. And here's where it starts getting a little confusing for me. Due to Geomeric shutting down Enlighten as a product, Unity is required to remove Enlighten. So we'll get back to that one in just a second. And I can find nothing to that source. I found no announcements and generally I report game development news. And this is not news I have seen. So this is where I am confused. And if you guys know the missing piece there about this whole um, Geomeric shutting down thing, I would love to hear it in the comments down below. Uh, I do have a little bit of a history lesson on Geomerics to come up with, you know, where the product went, but I don't get what happened that made them have to do this. Um, so Unity will continue to support Enlighten for, um, in the built-in renderer as it currently exists today. So the built-in renderer being not the new programmable rendering pipeline, so not the lightweight rendering pipeline or the HD rendering pipeline. That is the built-in renderer that so basically the other renderer, um, as it currently exists today, the 2020 long-term support will be the last version con to contain enlightened functionality for the built-in renderer. And it will be re fully removed in 2020.1. So versions of Unity after 2020.1 won't have any light enlightenment at all. Uh, uh, projects authored with the HD render pipeline uh, preview and lightning functionality will continue to be supported as it currently exists today, as is with no new platform support. So key there. In 2019, long-term support with full removal of enlightened functionality from HDRP in 2020.1. Uh, so HDRP, if you are working on an enlightened project, you probably don't want to anymore. Um, our lighting team has been focused on making a robust solution to replace enlightened baking over the last years, as well as provide great alternatives for the fast um, workflow possible with real-time enlightened pathways through improved baking. Uh, the CPU progressive light mapper is production ready. Our GPU-based progressive light mapper is used widely now with a great set of improvements and is targeted to be production ready in 2020.1. We continue to add improvements focused on highly iterative workflows with every release. For example, in Unity 2019.1, we added NVIDIA optics-based AI denoising, which gives you perceptually noise-free light maps up to 10 times faster than before. Uh, and many other features are targeted for easier, more intuitive workflows and faster iterations for artists. In 2019.2, we added the Intel Open Image Denoise, which makes this fast iteration possible, available on all editor platforms for our users. We are also adding sophisticated sampling methods to improve baking iteration speeds, such as multiple importance uh, sampling from offline rendering, which gives you clean bakes when using HDRI environments. Uh, we are continuing to improve the control of light map layouts by letting you specify the number of light maps you want and adding more convenient um, artist options. If there's any feature parity missing from Progressive Light Mapper in order for you to make the transition, please give us feedback on our global, uh, global illumination forms. We'll come back to that one in just a second. Um, we're also fully committed to delivering a real-time global illumination replacement uh, solution in 2020.1. So basically they are working on bringing this technology in-house. We understand it is frustrating if you are affected by this. Deprecating features is not something we take lightly. This is not the outcome we wanted. We are committed to providing great workflows for authoring lighting, uh, whether for baked lighting or real-time global illumination. Please join us over at the forum. We'll get back to that in a second uh, to discuss things. Now again, I'm gonna flip back for just a second to this due to geomerics being shut down bit because this is the part that makes absolutely no sense to me and if you do know the missing piece please do again let me know in the comments down below so first off we're going to do a bit of a history lesson here geomerics is the company behind enlighten it has been used in all kinds of technology it is it's available for unreal engine it's used in the frostbite 2 engine so all your various different um 
Frostbite, like I said, be Battlefield games, uh, Star Wars Battlefront, uh, the newest, most hated version of uh, Mass Effect, etc. Those are all using uh, the the uh, Geomerics uh, global lighting kind of solutions in there. So the real time lighting and global illumination or baking technologies. Now you'll notice that I am visioning Geomerics via the Wayback Machine, and there's a good reason for this. Geomerics has not existed as a company for quite some time. In fact, Arm, yes, that Arm, Snap. Dragon, all the chips inside of your phone, ARM, acquired Enlightened uh, Creators Geomerics back in uh, 2013. So th I don't know why uh, they decided to get into this industry, but yep, they uh, they bought um, they bought Geomerics. Wow, there's a lot of ads on this site. Um, so Geomerics was purchased by ARM Technologies and was an in-house solution with ARMs for quite some time. Now, um, uh, Enlighten itself was added to Unity in Unity 5, which I believe was back in 2015 in terms of timeline. So that was after ARM acquired it. Um, and Geo Geomerics as a company then became Geomerics, the division of ARM. But let's fast forward a little bit further. And Silicon Studios. And this isn't recent easier. This is back in May 22nd of 2017, they acquired the licensing rights from Geomerics to license, develop, and provide worldwide uh, enlightened support, uh, real-time lighting, global illumination software, etc. Now, Silicon Studios may sound familiar to you if you are a regular of this channel because they are the folks behind... Um, the Zenko Game Engine that was recently released open source. So they've actually got a couple other services. So they got Yibis, uh, Mizuchi, Motion Portrait, and then of course Enlighten. And this is not Wayback Machine stuff. This is their live website. Now this is the, the news report of that purchase back in the 2017. So basically, um, ARM retained the IP rights, but sold off the technology rights to Silicon Studios. And if you go there now, this is Silicon Studios homepage. This is what you get. Their number one product, their most promoted product is Enlighten. So it is very much still out there. You go into their news section and you will see news stories about new people licensing Enlighten technologies, new releases for a game engines such as Unreal Engine's new version of it. Um, so it, it's still out there. It's still being supported. I, I, I really honestly, it's not being shut down. I guess that's the part that I really don't understand here. And Lighten seems to be going just fine. Seems to still be under active development. Still having news releases about new things happening with it. Um, so I, I don't really get what's going on here. I don't get this Geomerics being shut down comment because... Geomerics kind of stopped being an entity back in like 2013 and then they were sold in 2017 so it just sounds like maybe they just didn't they lost their property rights their licensing rights perhaps uh, and they just don't want to pay for it again so what they're doing is bringing it in-house is, is all I can figure out here but anyways this is the part that's got me really confused with this entire news release because as far as I know Geomerics has been you know a division of ARM for a number of years and the IP rights to enlighten the technology they were using were sold off to Silicon Studios back in 2017 so nothing new happened here nothing new that I can find and I've scoured the web for a story about enlighten going away or problem there and I've not found anything as of yet. So if there is something outside of Unity saying that it shut down, I would love to hear it because from what I'm seeing, it looks like Silicon Studios owns the rights to Enlighten and they're still developing and everything is going just fine. So I have no idea what's going on there. Now the final part of this story that is somewhat interesting is actually from this global illuminations forum. Um, Actually, I wanted the direct link. Okay, so here we go. So in this post here, there's actually a very interesting comment from uh, Jesper, who is actually making all the comments. Uh, here's where you can basically say, Enlighten had a good run for the money. Some of the best looking titles that have shipped using it. However, some of the underlying principles mean that it is not good fit moving forward. Enlighten is a largely surface-based, requires a global pre-computation phase, and is limited to diffuse transport with no real support for physically based, non-opaque materials. So basically that means if you're in the world of PBR and transparency, it doesn't work that great. Also, if you're in the world of real-time ray tracing, it's not really applicable anymore. Uh, so some of the drivers moving forward, so some of the things that are most important to Unity are fast iteration, um, time to first pixel needs to be fast, 
Easy authoring, we need to remove dependencies on authoring suitable UVs and other surface-based authoring. Dynamic worlds, in addition to dynamic materials and lighting setups, we have to support dynamic geometry. Uh, for example, you can blow things up or create new stuff and still have light mapping support. Unified lighting, the lighting container needs to be decoupled from surfaces. This allows all scene elements to use the same lighting, including volumetrics and participating media. Large worlds, due to the sheer size of levels today, we need a, an easy way to do localized light transport where what is lit and what is affected that lighting is decoupled. And so source access. And I think this one's the biggie for them. Uh, they don't own Enlighten. Um, so they're going to, whatever technology they're working on is going to be ultimately moved in house so that they have full ownership of it. And we're kind of seeing a bit more and more of this coming from Unity with their release and announcements. But there's a, a couple of good responses here, uh, follow-ups, etc. Again, I'm not seeing anything 100% about why they have to do this move other than I think maybe their license is up and they don't want to renegotiate with Silicon Studios. I, I don't get it. I don't know what's going on, but there's more to it than has directly been said. Uh, but there are other options out there. They are bringing things in-house. And also got to imagine that if Silicon Studios are probably going to release Enlighten for Unity as a product. So if you want to continue, you can probably get a license yourself from Silicon Studios because they have Enlighten for uh, Unreal Engine, for example. And then there's other light mappers out there like Beast. Um, there's a couple others as well, but Beast definitely comes to mind is one I can think of. So anyways, that is the story. It looks like the, the light mapping solution in Unity is ultimately going to be going away. Um, and if you're in the HD render pipeline, this is going to affect you much more immediately. Whereas if you've got a game already in development, um, it, and especially if you're using the built-in render, this really shouldn't impact you. The, by the point that this is all deprecated, uh, you're going to be on long-term support versions anyways. But if you're looking at starting a project right now using Unity, you do not want to commit to Enlighten as your light mapping solution, or you want to get involved in this discussion to figure out what the right way forward is. Um, and then again, finally, my ultimate question, if any of you guys actually know what they're talking down of talking about with this geomerics being shut down thing, uh, I'd love to hear what they're talking about because I fully, I can't understand what they're talking about here and perhaps one of you guys knows and you can complete the picture for the rest of us. All right, that's it for now. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.